तवई वास्मि तवई वास्मि न जीवामि तया बिना इति विज्ञाय राधे तं नैमाम चरणं तिके भक्त्या विहीनाय अपराध लक्षै शिप्ताश्च कामादिक सरंग मध्ये कृपा मयि त्वं शरणं प्रपन्ना बिन्दे नमस्ते चरणार First of all, my heart touch for millions of Dunbar in the Lord's feet of my spiritual master. And same in the Lord's feet of my Shiksha Guru, Om Vishnu Parsi Smad Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. <coughs> we are now discussing about Rāramananda Sambhad. First look, briefly we have uh, explained, briefly. Now, <coughs> uh, some examples I told yesterday to give. Why? How Radha is Pranay Mahima? And for this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Raya Ramanan to come to Puri and they will all test all these things. In the last, he resigned from his post and he came. So, in Chaitanya Charitamrits, in Swarupa Karcha, Karcha are slopes. What they realized with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they used to write in their Karcha, in their own slopes. Raghunath Goswami has also karcha. How he was burned and brought upon the guidance of Sarup Damodar. And what Sarup Damodar used to hear from Mahaprabhu, and he used to tell him. So he has also karcha. Both combined, O Ichaitanya Chaitanya. So, Radhaya Pranay Mahima Kiddisha Va Anayayi Vavar Swadva Jainadvat Madhurima Kiddisho Va Madhiya Shokhan Chasya Madan Bhavata Kiddisho Vetti Lobha Tadbha Vardha Samajani Sachi Garva Sindhu Dharam Oh, you should explain the meaning. Jnati Mirandasya, Jnanam Janashalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai, Shri Gurave Namaha, Vancha Kalpataru Bhascha Kripa Sindhu Bevaja, Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha. First of all, I'm offering my humble Dandavat pranams, my Shraddha Pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Gurudev Nitilila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Asto Tarasata Sri Srimad AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada. And secondly, my equal Dandavat pranams and Shraddha Pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Siksha Gurudevs Nitilila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Sri Srila. 
Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Goswami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Padasto Tadasata Sri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and to all of my Rupanuga Guru Varga, all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas. <coughs> so Srila Gurudev has been expounding for the past two days on Sri Roy Ramananda Samvad in which he has quoted the first verse of that chapter 8 of Madhilila, which actually encompasses the entire conceptions that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu placed within the heart of Roy Ramananda and th by which he himself was able to hear this conversation and gain new enlightenment within his heart. The beautiful examples being given yesterday of the cloud and the ocean and the pearls within the shell of the oyster, and the Swati Nakshatra, the constellation. Very beautiful description Srila Gurudev has given. And now Srila Gurudev is referring to the Kadachas, the shloka of Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami, which is quoted by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami in the beginning of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita to explain the confidential reasons why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world. In the third and fourth chapters of Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila, uh, Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami has explained both the external reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance in this world and also his internal reasons or his primary reasons. And this shloka which Srila Gurudev has quoted uh, which we will explain, this is telling the three most confidential reasons why Sri Krishna himself desired to appear in the womb of Mother Sachi and descend in this world in his beautiful golden form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So here it is described, Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima Kidrasho Vanayaiva Svadyo yenad bhuta madhurima kidrisho va madhya sokyam chasyam mad anubhavata kidrisham veti lobhat tad bhavadya samajani sachi garva sindho harindhu. So here, Shri, the first line is telling Sri Radhaya Mahima kidrisho vanayaiva. He wanted to understand Krishna. Because he is the Vishaya Tattva, Bhagavan, which means he is the object of every, everyone's praying. He is the object. And from that position of the Vishaya Tattva, from the position of the object, he is tasting everyone's praying. But when Krishna witnessed the transcendental features and symptoms which are shown by Srimati Radharani, in her love for him, by which she tastes the highest uh, level of Mahabhav Prem and the highest levels within Mahabhav. So Krishna himself became very curious to understand because he noticed that Srimati Radharani, her love is unlimited, expanding in all directions. There is no limit whatsoever to her praying for me. What is the greatness of that praying, the mahima, uh, the topmost limit of that praying, Krishna himself wanted to understand this. But actually it is not possible for him to understand from his own position of being Vishay Tattva Bhagavan. Therefore, uh, he desired, this was his first desire, he desired to take the position of Srimati Radharani herself and thus through taking her position, ex experiencing her own bhavs, in this way he would be able to taste her prem. Secondly, uh -huh. what is the second? Swadyo yen adbhuta madhurima kidrashova madhya. Then he wanted to understand what is the madhurima, the sweetness that she tastes through her transcendental love for him. Because Sri Krishna uh, is the very Bhagavan Swayam and the Avatari. He is the original Supreme Personality of Godhead from whom all other incarnations and expansions emanate. And he is the topmost absolute truth. 
So within him, there is the topmost qualities compared to all other expansions, expansions of his own self. And specifically, Sri Krishna has four qualities which are not found in any other incarnation. Four madhurimas. These are sweetnesses. His uh, venu madhuri. How Sri Krishna plays his beautiful <coughs> venu, his flute, and attracts the hearts of all living beings throughout the entire creation. Even the inanimate objects are attracted by the sweetness of the sound of Krishna's flute. Venu madhuri. Leela madhuri. He engages in his sweet pastimes, encompassing his ages of childhood, boyhood, youth, Kishore, Balya, Pauganda. And in this way, Krishna ex uh, manifests so many beautiful sweet pastimes in Braja and in no other incarnation and in no other Dham does the Supreme Lord uh, manifest such beautiful pastimes. Then, uh, Leela, uh, Rupa Madhuri, Krishna's transcendental beautiful form with all of his characteristics and qualities, uh, his beautiful lotus petal eyes, his transcendental body is the very embodiment of sweetness. And all of his associates, all of his associates have Prem Madhuri. They're completely surrounding Krishna with the topmost level of Prem and particularly coming into the level of Madhurya Prem which the Braja Gopis taste and experience in their love for Krishna. So through these four sweetnesses, through these four Madhurimas, these qualities of Krishna, he inundates the hearts of his Braj Bhaktas, and eternally they relish his transcendental qualities and his sweetness. But amongst them, none of them can relish and taste the sweetness of Krishna, of that of, compared to Srimati Radharani. And Srimati Radharani, she is the Ashrai Tattva, the very shelter or the very abode of all praying. She is the very Swarup Shakti potency of Krishna. There is the Sri Krishna himself who is the absolute truth and Sri Krishna Shakti. Together they comprise the one absolute truth. So Srimati Radhika is that Swarup Shakti, that Purna Shakti completely embodied uh, through the potency of Ladini very transcendental pleasure potency. Srimati Radhika uh, tastes the transcendental brain of Krishna and sweetness of Krishna to the highest level beyond anyone else. And when Krishna notices this, then he becomes also very curious to understand how she is tasting my sweetness. He notices that all living beings are tasting his sweetness. But he himself is enamored by the fact that Srimati Radhika is tasting unlimitedly uh, and finally, Sokyam Chasyam Mad Anubhavata Kidrisham Veti Lobhat. What kind of happiness, what kind of unlimited joy and ecstasy Srimati Radhika experiences. When Krishna witnesses this, he sees that she is tasting millions of times greater joy than he himself in receiving her praying and all other devotees praying. So Krishna becomes absolutely curious to know this. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has described, Krishna's mind runs after this conception, how it will be possible for him to understand this. So therefore, desiring to taste these, uh, to experience and to know these three transcendental uh, characteristics of Srimati Radhika's praying, therefore, Sri Krishna himself accepted the mood, the bhav, Tad bhavadya samajani sachi garba sindo harindu. He took her bhav, that means her transcendental golden kanti, her color, uh, and that in, in comprises her complete moods, her, her complete desire to love Krishna is embodied within that beautiful golden color. And Srimati Radhika herself joined together, combined together in one form and completely covered every single limb of Shyam Sundar Krishna in his dark, uh, beautiful color. And now he became Gaur Sundar 
and now he became completely absorbed in the mood of Srimati Radhika. So in that way, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world and manifested his pastimes for the benefit of all, but particularly to taste these three, because he is the Supreme Absolute Truth, he is Raso Vai Saha, he is the embodiment of Rasa, there is nothing beyond his experience. So in order to taste this Ras, he has appeared in this form, and now by meeting uh, Sri Ramananda Roy on the banks of Godavari, and also empowering him uh, to distribute this, these transcendental conceptions and because, as we have heard, Rai Ramananda is none other than the most intimate Saki of Srimati Radhika, Sri Vishaka Devi herself. So now she has come to uh, give, to contribute her conceptions uh, into uh, this transcendental samva, this conversation. <coughs> and Rai Ramananda now gave this into the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and by his tasting and hearing this, through the medium of Siksha Guru, he was now able to deeply enter within the moods of Srimati Radharani. So that is a brief explanation of this shloka of Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami Pad. But why this shloka has been quoted here? What did they need? Oh, something. Here, it has been quoted, this is look, especially for, to show that what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu realized three things. He inspired in the heart of Rāyaman, this very thing. And that is why he was able to, oh, again, um, repeat. repeat it to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for this. So without mercy, Anyone cannot know all these things. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spanked his mercy unknowingly, not outwardly, but inwardly. This is the thing. In Prihat Bhagavatam it too, everything <coughs> his Guru told to Gop Kumar, Saru perhaps, he told, he knew all the thoughts, but could not realize. Janasarma. Huh? Janasarma. Uh, Sent by Chaita, um, Radhika. Then he kept his hands on his head. Everything you should realize. And then at once he realized and he saw that I am going to Golok Vrindavan and in the meantime he reached there and he saw Krishna. So, Bhat. Very powerful sadhu sangha, but sadhu sangha or oh, standard should be there. <coughs> now I have told that how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu crossed the river Godavari and he came to Godavari Ghat, next other Ghat, and he took bath on the Ghat, proper Ghat, and after taking bath, he left that Ghat. But nearer to Godavari, water, he was sitting, he, he sat down and then he did his anhik. Anhik, you know, what Guru has given months, who did it? Ten times. <coughs> you should always try to follow this. Our Rabhunath Das Goswami had also told, Guru Gashte Gosta Leisu Sujane Bhuzur Gane Swamantre Sri Namni So don't fall, no, fail to meditate your months. Three times daily. But if you are Grihastha, so many things to do. So if you cannot do in evening, uh, midday, oh, you must do in morning. And from sannyasi, brahmacharis, those who have left homes, they should do at three times. 
सो यू मस्ट डू वॉट गुरु हैज गिवन मंत्र डेली विथ वेरी रेस्पेक्टफुली एंड बींग वन पॉइंटेड एट दैट टाइम नो अपसेट माइंड नो इन हरी be calm and quiet and chant so even chaitanya mahaprabhu is doing why you should not do then <coughs> it has been told that chaitanya mahaprabhu himself told that i am maya vadi sanyasi and someone now quoted this that oh he was maya vadi sanyasi because he was he has taken sanyas from मायावादी अद्वैत सन्यासी के सो भारती बट इट इज नॉट ट्रू हिट टू हरिनाम दीक्षा फ्रॉम ईश्वर पुरीपाद ही इज इज गुरुदेव ही इज वनली सन्यास गुरु एंड इवन चैतन्य महाप्रभु टोल दैट ओ यू आर गोइंग टू गिव मी दिस मंत्र एंड ही ट्रिकली मंत्र व्हाट मंत्र वाज दैट तत्व मसी व्हाट मीनिंग तस्य तम असि यू आर एटर्नल सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्ण दिस मंत्र वाज दैट यस केशव भारती ही टूक सन्यास इन दी लाइन ऑफ शंकराचार्य लाइक मथाचार्य टूक सन्यास इन दी लाइन ऑफ बट देर आर नॉट मायावादी मायावादी मीन निष्पृशेषवादी बट चैतन्य महाप्रभु है Or cut out all the arguments of Sarvam Bhattacharya, yeah. and he used to pay respect to his Guru Dev Ishwar Puri Pad. He went to Ishwar Puri Pad, but place took some dust from there. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told, "I am my body sanyasi." Why? ओ तृणादी सुनी चेन तरोर सही सुनी और वैष्णव शुड भी तृणादी सुनी तरोर सही सुनी अमानी ना मान देन एस्पेशली संन्यास ऑल्सो और वैष्णव शुड भी लाइक गिव ऑनर टू अदर्स डोंट बी वेरी फॉर अदर्स व्हाट इज डूइंग नॉन सेंस आर वॉट डोंट क्रिटिसाइज Don't be very far back. Try to see how much I am developing. I am following Tina Dapi Sunich Taro Rapi Sahi Sunna Amani Na Man De Na. We should also know. Abhi Chet Su Dura Chal Bhajate Mam Ananya Bhag. Don't be very far back. Otherwise, your life will be spoiled. Constitutional of our religion is bhakti. If a kantiki bhakti is there and something coming, we should try to inform it. Don't bother. Well, always you should know. Kali is very. But even those who had taken shelter, uh, shelter, Sharanagati in the lotus feet of Krishna, they can walk on the on the head of this. Huh? Time also, those who give bigna, after he can. So we should try to be Sharanagat and of only one point and then go. And helping others also. Now, Rana Manand is telling that I am Sudra. Oh, I am Sai Sudra. Why? Oh, again this thing. Tina Tapi Suni Chena. He was actually no Sudra. And Sila Prabhupada has told those who think that he was Sudra, hmm? then he is Aparadhi. He will not have bhakti. Haridas Thakur was Muslim. Muslim, if they are thinking, or oh, he was not Muslim. By constitutional religion, he was 
त्यो शुद्ध भक्त महाभागवत नमाचार्य गिविंग सेल्टर्स टू पति इवन रूप एंड सनातन को स्वामी दे थॉट दैट वी आर मुस्लिम एंड दे टूक सेल्टर इन दी टोटल सीट ऑफ हरिदास ठाकुर यू नो सो ही वॉज नॉट वैष्णव आर नॉट मोहन दैन मुस्लिम और एनीथिंग दे आर जगत गुरु सो वॉट दे आर टेलिंग वी शुड थिंक इट दैट बाई तुना दी सुनी दे आर टेलिंग सो एक्चुअली नॉट लाइक देन सम डायलॉग वॉज गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन रामानंद एंड महाप्रभु Ramanand was telling that if you had come to what reform me, then you should you are pati pawan, pawan bear. Being a sannyasi, you touched untouchable me. He told, and then he quoted. महान स्वभाव ए कारिते पमर निज का के नहु तबे जान अंध फॉर दिस महत विचलन निर्णय गृहिनां दीन चेत सम निश्चय साय भगवन नन्नथा कल्पते खुशी पढ़ी दे मेरी वंश कृष्ण एंड बलराम दैट टेकन बर्थ After six months or one year, Vasudev Prabhu in Mathura, in jail, he requested Garda Charge, please go in Vrindavan. There, the son of my son and the son of Nanda have taken birth there, and now appropriate time. and you should give uh, na you should do naam sanskar he went there in this guy this guy means no one knew if anyone will knew that vasudev maharaj has sent then council at once take some serious steps so as if He is not going, moving here and there. He went there. So, Nand Baba is telling him, "Mahat Vichal Nam Vidam, Krishnan Dina Cheta Sam Nisheshaya Bhagwan Nand Nata Kalpati Kushi." Mahat Vichal Nam, Mahat. Who is Mahat? Who is Mahat? Or Sanatan Goswami is telling Mahatan. भगवत से वही का निष्ठा भगवत से वही का निष्ठा नाम और महत दो है डिजायर टू सर्व कृष्ण एंड सर्विंग दे आर रियली महत नो अदर सो यू आर महत यू हैव नो अदर बिजनेस हियर बट बाय चांस यू हैव कम हियर व्हाई यू हैव कम ओ टू थिंग्स गृहणान दीन अचित साम माई सेल्फ गृह गृह आई एम ऑलवेज इंगेज इन हाउस होल्डर लाइफ इन माई वाइफ फॉर चिल्ड्रेन्स टू लुक आफ्टर माई होम्स एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स हो इज टेलिंग हाउ दिस इज सेल्फ एंड इज टेलिंग दैट आई एम Badly engaged in householder affairs, <laughs> and being a chief tasam, and that is why I am dini. He is not telling for himself, but for us, as we are always engaged in this. We forget Krishna, we forget Guru, Vishnu, and all others. And engage always in this. 
Anyhow, you are some parts fortunate that you are in good association. Now something realizing. But there are some weaknesses also. Try to drive uh, all these things. <coughs> so, so, it has been quoted though, but has it been quoted for Mahaprabhu or no? Though Raya Ramananda told it, this is slow. Mahaprabhu is Mahapurush or what? He is not Mahapurush only. He is Maha Maha Mahaprabhu. Hmm? He is Swam Avatari, himself Krishna. More than Krishna even combined Radha and Krishna. Hmm? So, <coughs> also a slok, parallel a slok had been told by Bharat Yudhishthi. Hmm? Bhavadidha Bhagavata Tithi Bhuta Swain Prabhu Tithi Kurvant Tithani Swantas Thain Gadab Bhrita Bhavadidha Yudhishi Maharaj is telling to Bidu. Some time before Mahabharata battle was fought, he left everything, his position, his prime ministry and everything. Because his brother Dhritarast was blind by internally and externally. He was Grihinan Dina Chetasam. Really he was. He wanted, he, he tried so much that he should give up Dujyodhan. That what? Divorce? Reject. And he should call Pandavas and give proper respect to them. But Durjodhan at once came, Oh, you are taking prasadam in what plate and you are holding this patta. And then at once he gave up his crown, his everything, ministry and he left. And when battle was fought, all were put to date, all Durjodhan and all his brothers, only five Pandavas was Krishna, one side, and other side, Aswasthama, Kripachar, Kripala. But really, no one in that side. Then, he came. He knew also that Krishna has left this world. All his Jadavansi has gone. But he did not told all these things. And then Yudhishthi Maharaj telling at that time, Bhat Pidha, O Vaishnu like you, like you. Uh, Bhagavata, Bhagavata, you are Bhagavat. Tithi Bhuta Sain Prabhu, you are himself Tith of Tith. Because you have kept Gadadhar in your heart. Gadadhar means? Love. No. <laughs> Who has taken Bansi float on his, as that very good Gadadhar. So, wherever you will go and take bath, it will be Titha. Now, it is Tits or Vari. Oh, all sin, sinner person are taking bath. How should all we be? More, again, like that. And Krishna sends persons like you, O Vidu. So, <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, himself, Krishna. We can take him like that. He was also Mahabhagavat because he had played the role of Mahabhagavat. Then, in the morning, 
they were ta- talking what I told. And then Mahaprabhu went to a Brahmin house and Ravananda Raj, he went, returned back to his palace. Mahaprabhu told that, I will wait for you in the evening, so please come and we will do Harikatha. So Mahaprabhu was waiting him very eagerly. Mahaprabhu himself waiting eagerly. And Rayaramanand what? He was also. So only in a very simple dress with only one servant he came there. Anyhow, in high way, in secret way he came. Mahaprabhu was waiting and when he saw Rayaraman did Namaskar and he wanted to fall on his feet, but at once he embraced him. And thus both were Parsaswati because he <coughs> After that, when they sat, they began to do conversation each other's harikatha, question and answer. Vaishnava friend meet. How are you? No question. They know all these things. <laughs> Nothing. They will. How your bhajan is going on? And we should try to. How your bhajan? Now he is telling Mahaprabhu. Prabhu Kare. Padaslok sadhya na nirna and raya kahe swadharm acharane vishnu bhakti hai. Raya Ramananda padaslok why he is telling that you should read this slok you should have a sadhya what is sadhya what is sadhya or he is telling that, I want to know what you are telling, it should be according to Shastra. Upanishad, Vay, Upanishad, Quran, especially Srimad Bhagavata. I want to. You should give reference of Shastra. Without Shastra, I will not admit. And then Raraman told, so dhar, dharma acharane Vishnu Bhakti. What is sadhya? We should all know. Without sadhya, aim of the aim and object of the life they should. Otherwise we are like animal. So we should know. And then knowing after that. We should practice to have that. What is sadhya? You, Arana Maharaj. Explain in brief. Eh? This idea. What is the idea of sadhya? Yes, sadhya. What is called sadhya? Try to listen very carefully. You should turn more. Umagana Timarandhasa. Gyanandana Salakaya Chakshuran Vilitam Jena Tasvai Sri Gurave Nama So, Srila Gurudev ordered me to discuss briefly the concept of Sadhya. The word Sadhya indicates the goal of life. What is the aim and object of your life? That is called your Sadhya. And the method that you uh, take up to attain that particular objective in your life, that is called sadhan. So sadhan means the process to attain sadhya, the goal of life. So later we'll hear how Chaitanya Mahapu said, Sadhya vastu sadhan bina keho nahi pai kripa kahe rai pavara upai 
All right, Ramananda. We have discussed sadhya, the goal of life. Can you tell me about the sadhya and the method to attain it? Why? Because because no goal of life can be attained without m taking up the appropriate sadhan. So we can give some examples. If the goal of your life is to become very wealthy, hmm, to earn lots of money, then you may think, what kind of sadhan you have to do to attain that? You may think, oh, by being a lawyer, hmm, then you can make so much money. Hmm? So then you have to think, how can I become a lawyer? I have to go to the law college. Hmm? If you want to become a farmer, then no need to go to law college, you should go to agricultural college. Hmm? So, depending on what type of goal you have in your life, then after fixing sadhya, the goal, after that you can understand what is the process to attain that goal. So, for those who are sadhak, practicing devotees in this world, their sadhya is what? Bhava bhakti. Hmm? In the heart of every living entity is an eternal loving relationship with Krishna. How it should be manifest, hmm? how to realize this sadhya, hmm? that is the process of pure bhakti. Hmm? Kriti sadhya, bhagat sadhya, bhava sa sadhana vidani, tasidasya bhava sya prakatyam ready sadhya. When we are engaged in hearing, chanting, remembering, uh, for the specific purpose of manifesting a particular mood in the heart, then our hearing and chanting and remembering can be called sadhan, sadhan bhakti. Otherwise, though we may be hearing, chanting and remembering, it is called sadhan abhas, a semblance of real practice. So if we want our hearing and chanting and remembering to be real sadhana bhakti, first the sadhya, the goal that you are aiming for, will have to be fixed. So if we say that the sadhya is bhava bhakti, this is not enough. Why? Because there are many different types of bhav, many different um, foundational emotions by which the living entity is related to Krishna. It may be in the santaras, dasya, sakya, vatsalya or madhurya. And therefore, if we want to know what is sadhya of our life and discover the sadhan to attain it, we have to go to sadhu. Hmm? So sadhu, sadhu is that person Sadno ti sadayati Krishna prema iti sadhu. The sadhu is the person who teaches you about sadhya, the goal of life, and he adjusts your practice so that you will be doing pure sadhan to attain that. The person who does this is called sadhu, and when we experience this in our life, really this is called sadhu sangha. So here in this example, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was waiting eagerly to meet with Ramananda right way for sadhu sangha. So from him, he can hear about sadhya, the goal of life, specifically the highest goal of life, in this case, for him, the mood of Radharani. And for the living entities, the beauty of the mood of Radharani. He wanted to hear this from Ramananda Rai, and afterwards, he will ask him, now I know the goal, please explain to me what is the method to achieve. So in brief, this is the idea of sadhya and sadhan. <laughs> Something more, if you want, can you tell? What? Yeah, nothing. Shamarani can? Some more? No. Bhakti Shah? How can I improve? We all want happiness. Anyone who wants to be uh, suffer, suffering, anyone's <laughs> suffering? You want suffering? Oh, you should come, I will make you suicide. <laughs> no, why not? This is suffering. So anyone does not want. And that is why in Veda I have it. Sarve Sukhina. We want to be happy. But what we think from this material uh, mind is really not happiness. In wealth, in position, in family life, 
आउट ऑफ फैमिली लाइफ रियल हैप्पीनेस इज नॉट व्हाट वी थिंक व्हाट इज रियली हैप्पीनेस कृष्ण इज लव गॉड इज लव लव इज गॉड एंड कृष्ण वर्ड आनंद स्वरूप सचिद आनंद स्वरूप और आनंद स्वरूप आनंदम एम ब्रह्म आनंद मयम मयो अभ्यास नॉट ओनली आनंद ही इज आनंद हिंसा बट ऑल्सो आनंद मय एंड वी आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल्स ऑफ कृष्ण You don't know. <laughs> Ananda means happiness. Quality is Ananda, and Ananda Maya, where plenty of Anand, he is enjoying plenty of Anand and giving plenty of Ananda. He is called Ananda Maya. Maya prachur arthi. Krishna is Anand himself, Anand Anand Maya. That is why Vyas Dev told Anand Maya Abhyasa. Shankara says, "Oh, how it can be? Impossible. He is Anand, only, not Anand Maya. So perhaps he was somewhat mad or." No, no, confused. No, he has uh, written any word like that. I don't remember. Oh, Bhrant, Bhrant. So that is Bhrant in his Brahma Sutra. Why he wrote Anand? He could not be confused. No, but Krishna is both Anand and Anand. So. If you want to be happy, you will have to Ananda Maya Abhyasa. You will have to remain, remember, John, hearing the sweet past times of Krishna. Then really you can be happy. Otherwise you cannot be happy. But what conditions all things? नित्यार्थन वित्तेन दुर्लभेन आत्मृत्युना गृहापत्त क्या वी वॉन्ट दैट वी शुड एनी हाउ कलेक्ट मनी वेल्थ विदाउट वी कैन एट सर्वाइव हाउस ओ दिस इज हॉ नित्यार्थन If there is no money or wealth, you are worried for that. If too much money comes, then dark clouds and others will suit you and take you. <laughs> I know a person, oh, who was householder, a very beautiful wife, children, and to love them, he wrote his in will or in a document that it belongs to my wife. Out of love and affection, and he went to India, and in the meantime, that lady involved to others and took his all house, all property, or childrens and everything, and she. Oh, he began to weep. What to do? Again, he married to other lady. <laughs> And for love and affection, and that first wife should not take his all money. He wrote everything to second wife. <laughs> and and also to conceal taxes from government to cheat. He wrote everything what he is. Everything was 
property, house and everything by her wife. And he went to service, also doing service. And in the meantime, that lady also was engaged in other husband and took all the wealth, everything, house, property. <laughs> but still, they don't give up that. I told him to come with me and be with me. <laughs> but he is not happy. He will again do service and again he will marry any do uh, lady and other ones. They will not come in this land. And they will not remember totally Krishna who is Ananda man. If you are chanting Krishna really with her, Ananda will come. Surely, it has been told, Bhakti Vasudeva Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita Janata Asu Bairagyam Jnanan Chardha Ahay to come. Everything will come. Tattva Gyan will come. Surely. And also detachment from God. I am worried that why you are chanting names and why detachment is not coming? Why? O oh, Prabhu, from his morning of his life, he did the song of Pujapasitar Maharaj. Swami Maharaj. Always chanting. But even he is not going to be a sannyasi. Why? <laughs> Do you want to marry again? <laughs> Not question to you, but all. But all. We are mad now. <laughs> I have only not come to discuss all these, also these things <laughs> to remind you. You cannot be happy. Nityati dena pittena durdhavena atma mirtuna This is the cause of death. What is the meaning of death? Or falling down from divine love and Krishna consciousness. If you have too much wealth, then any dokat will come and in India, very soon, he will shoot you. Only for five ana paisa, that is so. So many sadhus uh, doing bhajan here and there in forest and they keeping some donation which is coming in their old and told quills. Hmm? And the guy comes, have you anything? Oh, I have nothing. And they search and found them. So, so many. So, in the end, and collecting by wealth, your wife, children, apatha, uh, house, property, dogs, animals, your gardens, everything, they will not give you happiness. Only chanting and the remembering of Krishna, meditating of Krishna. This happiness is Priyoja. This is the life of poor. So, how to achieve that good happiness? Happiness means Krishna Himself. His happiness and Anandamaya both. One is this is the process. And process of bhakti of Rupa Goswami. Anna Vilasita Sunyam, Gyanakarmanya Anabdikam. Ankulena Krishna Anushinyam. This will give you certainly happiness. Nityananda Prabhu taking his hand high and promising. Chathestangre Bhrata Kuru Hari Hari Dhan Tamarisha Tatova Sansaram Bhuti Tarnadao Mai Lage Sotai Rati Ratyan Pati Griham. You should chant and remember Krishna. I am 
responsible that. If you are not happy, oh, I am responsible that. So I am telling also you all that you should chant and remember, give it all your worry and everything and chant and remember Krishna, you must be happy. Otherwise I am responsible for you. Mm.